Dr. B, two-minute drill. Be careful of the seed of lust. Seed of lust is always there. Gentlemen, ladies, it's always there. Uh, you're walking and you're looking at someone in the head and they are looking really good. All of a sudden, your brain starts to stop it. Uh, temptation is not the sin. It's yielding to the temptation that's the sin. However, we can plant seeds of lust in us. And so by the time our wives or our husbands come home respectfully, your brain is so um, jacked up with the seed that, that you planted uh, that you cannot function, you cannot be intimate because you allow the seed of lust. So this is, uh, this is deep because everywhere we have seeds, right? We have good seeds and bad seeds. And for most couples, they don't understand, we got to make sure that the seeds of lust are not there. Now, little controversial, you can always think about your wife. Yes, sir. You can always think about your husband, ma'am. There's nothing wrong with that at all. That, 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 that's not lusting. That's just wetting your appetite. That's all that is. That's just wetting your appetite for what's about to happen later on. We are fine with that all day, every day. No problem at all. All right. So you can do it all day you want. That's not the seeds of love. That's seeds of we're going to get busy. That's seeds of thank God the kids are out. <laughs> so we got a problem with that seed. That's a good seed. But again, it's making that transition. Right, it's making that transition that I will not allow my mind uh, to have seeds of lust towards somebody else. That's a no no. Uh, whether your workplace, whether in the church, he's talking about the church. Yeah, the church. Uh, no matter where you're at, don't allow the seed of lust to come in. God bless you, Dr. B. Two minute drill, Dr. TC Brantley.com or Dr. B. Israel at gmail.com. Until next time, peace.